Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we got some news today. As you can see, two Dotsons over here. We're gonna do something, it's a little bittersweet moment, but it's just definitely a good step. And that's, I'm gonna get this running one way or another. And because, you know, I have less time right now to work on the car and stuff, I'm gonna have someone work on it for me, which is, I didn't want it to be that way, but it just came down to it. Push comes to shove. If I don't do that, it's just going to be, you know, sitting here collecting dust like it currently is. And I don't want that any longer. So we're going to make it happen. First things first, first mission today is to actually get this to the place it needs to go, which is not far away at all, actually. But um, we might have to actually just push this car over there. All right, so here we are. It's already uncovered i'm not sure how to feel about this pretty sure next time we see it here in the driveway it's gonna start stop and go it's drooping for sure so and it works under events this is where we're at right now so we still have dots in here it's already in the afternoon it was supposed to be leaving in the morning but then this happened uh it's not good news not good news basically what happened is the strut broke the strut hat bushing here broke off the hat so like it literally I'm not sure if it's able to be seen over here but it's not bolted on to the tower here so we couldn't you know drop it or anything like that because then you know we didn't want to risk damaging anything under there so now we have to, uh, I have to take off the struts on both ends because they decided the same way, pretty much. And uh, we're going to replace them with the parts car struts in the back, which means we have to move a lot of these things out of the way. Uh, but I'm going to start taking these off first. Then we're going to go ahead and scoot this car forward and lift it up and do the thing over here as well. So we are behind schedule for sure, but I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Right? Mm. So right now we're taking apart the parts car, which that's gonna be the I say the easy way out right now. So take off the back shocks and the mount and put them on the white one. So for now the solution that's the solution we have right now. So right now we're trying to get this shit unstuck because the back had a super flat. Put the tires separating. Everything's on parts Spider car webs all over the place here. You guys remember that parts car? Check out one of our first videos, I think. One of our first couple ones, I, I think. You could check out, you know, what's what's good and bad about this. All right, just a closer look here. As you guys can see, this is that uh, top hat right here with the bushing. And as you can see over there, the top, top, the top, the tippy top, top. Uh, let's see right here. There you go, it's all torn up. And that's why it snapped. It just snapped from here, the top hat. So there you go, it's the damage. That's the damage. All right guys, so instead of taking off the white one first, I decided to take off this black one on the driver's side first. As you can see, we have already the strut over here on, on the outside. It's pretty much just taking off these three bolts or the nuts inside the cabin here, the strut tower. Taking off the, half, the shafts over here for nuts with bolts and pretty much just push and pull and it jumps underneath over here. We tighten these, the spring down with the spring compressors here. And now we're ready to just go ahead and finally loosen this up. Pretty straightforward process. A little time consuming, a little dirty, but nothing too difficult this time consuming which kind of sucks all right guys so i'm back over here on the white one new job i'm not gonna take off the struts or the spring i'm simply gonna change the top hat here so the problem was or is i just you know wasn't putting two and two together i guess but it's just the the rubber bushing that snapped basically so which this is the middle part right here so all you need is really just to exchange this part not the whole strut assembly not that shit so that should save me a little bit of time. So now I'm simply gonna remove this one, replace it with this one, put it back in, and we should be good on this side. And just like that, we have a new top hat over here. Got the bolt inside already. So this is the old one. As you can see, it's split in two. Bushing split, pretty bad. It was in jack stands for a month, for months on end. Probably years now, feels like at least. So it was, I guess it was bound to happen since it was pretty old to begin with. So this is what helped me back 
from uh, taking this car to the shop today. Just that. Just that. Well, I mean, it's on. Screw it. Let's finish the job. All right, so it's the next day. Long night last night for sure. Finished up around midnight, actually. Man, it was definitely some work. To be honest, it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. It's not also not hard. It's just time consuming, to be honest. And well, here it is. Bam. There you go. So we replaced the top hats, like I had mentioned yesterday. We dropped it, finally on the floor. It's ready to go. We'll probably take off the fenders because they're not even bolted on. I already emptied everything inside over here. Threw everything that was inside over here over to this one. To this one, uh, since they did replace the, I took off the top hats from this one to put on this one. I literally just switched them out. I had to tie the, like pretty much the suspension to the body or I had to do some rigging up here so I can be able to drop the, the car back to the floor and roll it back to where it was. But we made it happen. Well, right now we're just waiting for the guy to, to be free so I can either tow it and it's, I really don't want to tow it because it's really close by. So what I'll do is if I can't pull it, which I don't think I'll be able to, to be honest, because it doesn't have a tow hitch. Uh, I'll probably just go ahead and push this damn thing over there. It's only a couple blocks down, but... So, it's going to be a pushing, pulling type of thing. Video, I guess. It's going to be an adventure for sure. But, lip, man, but this thing looks nice. It looks freaking nice with the white paint job, the little wing in the back. I like the, I really like the wheels. It's just the stance of it, just, it's nice. The only thing that, that um, I do have to buy is this wheel here. This was, I'm, I'm assuming this is like a spare wheel here. Yeah, it looks like a spare. So it's probably the one that was in the trunk or something. But I like the wheels, I like the wheels for sure. The wing, I dig the wing. Looks nice. Man, I can't wait to drive this thing. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Alright guys, we're going out. Mete la segunda. Segunda, andale. Brake up. Brake check, ahí está. <laughs> so we're gonna pull it with the with the truck. So we got it hooked. My boy's back there. Oh man, it's gonna be a mission. We made it happen. We're over here. We got a little, a little damage here because it had no, it has no brakes. So we had to make it stop one way or another. But we made it here. My guy's right there. He's gonna be working on it from now on. At least to get it started, have it running. Man. So we are gonna have to bring some parts later on, but it's all good. All right guys, so finally we're back home. I forgot to do outro, but I'm editing the video right now. And man, I am excited. Thanks again to Tony. Uh, he's gonna be working on the Datsun. Uh, having it, you know, turn on and off, stop and go. Finally, finally, it's very close to being on the road. You know, it's one step closer and man, I couldn't be happier. That being said, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe for future content, follow us on IG, Los Menos Vera. See you guys next time. Peace.